Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 5th of April 2019 and the time has just gone 11.25 BST. Uh, this week's Chart of the Week is Palladium. And now Palladium um, has had a major rally between August 2018 and its, its all-time high, which has achieved only the back end of last month. Now, the market rallied from the lows of August 2018 until the, the all-time high, which was achieved on the 21st of March 2019. Uh, the market rallied 94%, so it's a huge upward move in only a, on only a few months. But in the, in the last few weeks, we have seen a fairly sizable sell-off uh, in the metal. Uh, there's been talk of a rumor, uh, there's been rumor of a bubble in the market, and that has led to a fairly sizable uh, move to the downside. So as we can see here, uh, the market moved, moved sharply lower um, in, at the back end of, of last month. We had the subsequent bounce back, and now we've actually managed to turn lower yet again. And today's low has managed to take off the lows uh, of, of the, at the end of last month. So this could be seen uh, as the beginning of a, kind of a move to a beginning of a downward trend. So we have the lower low here, we have the lower high here, and we now have another lower low. So this could be the beginning of a further move to the downside in in, uh, in palladium and if we can drop if we do drop below the 1300 mark uh, we could be looking at, at targeting this area here uh, the mid january low or the late january low rather uh, in at 1273 and should we break below that we could be looking at heading back towards this level here at 1200 uh, not only is 1200 a big psychological number which traders often look out for we can see back in December and January, about seven or eight times, uh, 1200 did manage to act as a fairly important point of resistance. And it's possible uh, that the old resistance level could become new support as the market should the market move lower from these, these current levels. On top of that, uh, the reason why 1200 is also significant uh, is because um, of retracements. Uh, Dow theory tells us um, that if a market has, has a retracement of a size of a significant move, it often retraces between one third, one half, and two thirds of that particular move. Uh, we've seen something, and we've seen something similar. Uh, and the Fibonacci retracement uh, theory also um, also fits in with along those lines. Now, if you if you use the Fibonacci tool on our trading platform under uh, Draw Tools, Fibonacci. If you draw, if you take the the level here. Uh, 1117, the sorry, 817, the lows here from August. Steady curve here, and push it and project it upwards to that to the recent high of 1585. What we can see here is that it is it's ex almost exactly a 50% retracement. If we were to retrace 50% of the move between the lows of August and the highs of March 2019, a 50% 50% um, retracement of that move will be pretty much bang on 1,200. So we have the fact that, that, that um, 1,200 is a big psychological number. It, it's previously acted at resistance on a few of occasions and also equates to exactly 50% of, of, of a retracement of the move between the lows of August 2018 and the highs of, of, 20, of the all-time highs that were achieved in March 2019. So for that reason, I think mean, should the market continue to move lower, 1200 could become a very significant level for the palladium market. Now, if you look at the really longer term move in palladium, if you look at the if you look at the, the, the very lows of the of the commodity route in January 2016, we can see that palladium has been in a solid and quite an epic upward move uh, for the past three years. And I've actually written an article on our website about the, some of the reasons that that's, that's, uh, that, that's driving this. If you go to cmcmarkets.com and under news analysis, you'll see this article here, Palladium Driven by Higher Emissions Crackdown. And what, and, and what I'm going into full detail, it talks about the rise of catalytic inverters, uh, the, the, the sell-off in diesel vehicles, uh, the, 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 the likely rise of hybrid vehicles which, which, use, which, which use palladium in their catalytic converters too. Um, it gives you the, the more, more, more full and depth detail of, of why palladium uh, has been, become so more popular in the last few years. But even if you do retrace back to 1200, um, it's possible that the wider upward trend that's been in place now for over three years could very well continue. And should the wider upward trend uh, in palladium continue, we could be looking at retesting the kind of 1400 or the most recent high of 1420, uh, which was achieved in, in, in early April. We could be looking heading heading back up to those levels. Should we go beyond that? 
keep an eye out for the kind of the psychologically important 1500 mark and then if you go beyond that we could be looking at retesting the all-time high in at 1585 and if you go beyond that traders will then be looking up towards the psychologically important 1600 and once we're going to break beyond the 1600 it's likely we could see further gains to the upside um, just before I finish up, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos here, um, please feel free to leave a review on Google Boost. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.